Well, hello everybody in YouTube land. This is Randy from Hi-Fi Energy Research. And I'm here today to talk to you about the awesome, amazing Cree LED light bulb. This is an American company. They finally got the LED light bulb right. And I've been playing with LED light bulbs for several years now because I wanted to save money on my electricity. I know how efficient LED lights are. LEDs use very, 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 very little electricity, and they can produce a lot of light for low wattage. What's great about the Cree LED light bulbs is, number one, an American company. Number two, they got it right. The white, the, the especially the soft white, looks just like a real incandescent light bulb. It radiates soft white light in a omnidirectional 360 degree pattern. Uh, the old LED light bulbs, I don't know if you know or played with them before, but they kind of look more like a spotlight and they just were too harsh and they made everything really harsh looking. Uh, it was just too funky. I, I didn't like the LED lights. It was, uh, I didn't like them. They didn't look like real light bulbs. Uh, but fortunately now they've come out with the this amazing light bulb. Uh, I'm going to unbox this for you and show you. Let's see what the real results are with my kilowatt meter. So right now I have plugged in to this lamp right here uh, being fed by power cord. Um, and of course I have the lamp plugged in here. This is reading 54.4 watts. I don't know if you can see that. 54.4 um, watts. That is actually a 60 watt rated light bulb, a regular incandescent light bulb. Um, let's open up our Cree here and find out what we're really getting. So, tear here. Okay, now that I destroyed my packaging. By the way, this company has a 10 year warranty. 10 year warranty on these bulbs. And they are claiming that you have 84% less energy consumption. And uh, based on usage of three hours a day, They'll last about 22.8 years. I can tell you, I hadn't gone by a year without replacing at least one or two of these CFLs, so they don't live up to anywhere near what they claim they're, they rate up to. And CFLs, by the way, last, uh, degrade even faster if you have them plugged in an outlet sideways, horizontal, or upside down. And I think it has something to do with the way the mercury vapor settles in the glass. Uh, but I was always replacing these in my bathroom, which has five lights uh, that hang down like that. It was horrible. I was always replacing them. It was a mess. You know, I had to climb up there with a, you know, get on top of the sink and climb up there and then do them. I bought about six or seven, I can't remember if it was six or seven, of these Cree LED light bulbs, the soft white, 60 watts last year it was a little bit of an expense but i knew that over the long term not only would they save me money they would last longer and they're just great i can sit here and take this cree level shake it bang it of course without breaking the glass um, shake it they're pretty much immune to shock uh, vibration uh, they're great for like automatic door openers for your garage. Uh, the vibration won't hurt them because they're solid state LEDs. Uh, the CFLs also last pretty good as far as garage openers. They're pretty, they're 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 pretty much uh, pretty durable as far as vibration, but don't break them. This relies on a vacuum. The Cree LED light bulb does not. And the only reason they really put a a kind of a little bit of a coating around the glass was to kind of help diffuse the light but they don't need a vacuum 
you could break this glass and it would still light up. Also, I will show you later the electric field emitted from CFLs and the pretty much non-existent electric field emitted from Crees. So a lot of people have been complaining about CFLs, that it gives them headaches, that uh, a lot of people have had problems with CFLs. I haven't noticed a problem with me per se, but I don't like the electric field that I'm reading from my meter here, and I'll show you that. My Radio Shack meter, and it has an electric field indicator button. I don't know if you can see that. And this is designed to like measure like where wall studs are, where, where electrical outlets are in, in, in wall studs and stuff. So it will show you, uh, I'll demonstrate the electric field emitted by CFLs. Um, so right now I got my normal incandescent light bulb plugged in, 60 watt rated, and we're at 54, 54.4 watts. Pretty close to you know what what the rating of the bulb is. All right, I'm gonna unplug that. Oh, incidentally, while I got that plugged in, I'm gonna show you the electric field emitted by the regular incandescent light bulb, which is virtually nil. No electric field emitted from that. Now. Another neat thing about these LED light bulbs that I can't say about CFLs or regular incandescences, after they've been on for a few minutes, they're hot. You don't want to touch. You don't want to touch the glass on a regular bulb. You don't want to touch this glass because they get hot. So I'm gonna have to take my uh, take my towel here and unplug, unscrew the light bulb. Of course, that's nice and toasty. Now, let's plug in the CFL. This is rated at 23 watts, I believe. 23 watts is a 60 watt equivalent. And let's look at our kilowatt meter here. And I am seeing 21.6. Now this will slowly go up because as the CFL takes time, a little bit of time to warm up, several minutes, it gets up to about 24 watts. So that's actually one watt more than what it's rated on the light bulb. So we're at 23.2 watts right now. And now we're at 24 watts. So anyway, let's see what kind of electric field is emitted by a CFL. So I got my meter on. Wow. That's about at least two feet. Uh, the meter is already picking up an electric field from two feet away. So obviously, CFLs are emitting a tremendous electric field. Um, I don't like that, uh, even though I can't really say for sure that it's affected me negatively. I don't like that. Now I've only had it plugged in for a few minutes. It's still a little bit toasty, but I can unplug it. I don't want to hold on to it for long. Now, incidentally, you don't want to break these CFLs. They have mercury vapor in them. Mercury is, of course, very toxic. These are just dangerous. Um, they can't handle the, you, you can't, you don't want to tap on these too much because you can break them, obviously. The Crees are safe, no mercury vapor. They don't even need the vacuum inside the bulb to work right. So let's plug this guy in. Let's see what kind of power wattage we're getting and what kind of electric field we have emitted.
Okay. I am reading 9.9 .9 watts. 9.9 .9 watts. Okay. It said 9.5 watts, but a couple tenths of a watt isn't going to be a huge, de a huge deal breaker. Uh, 9.8 watts, versus, and now it's going down a little bit. 9.8 watts versus 24 watts. That's huge. Um, that's like almost three times uh, a third of the cost. So, and as you can see, um, it emits a nice soft white light, um, just like the CFLs and just like the incandescents. So let's see what kind of electric field is emitted from the Crete light bulb now. Here we go. Nothing. See that? Absolutely nothing. Oh, there's a little bit right when I get right to the tip. Of course, that's where the electronics are inside the base, but pretty much I can get right up to the light. And nothing. So I really like these Cree light bulbs. I really believe in them. I think they're a great value. Um, yes, they're uh, right around like nine or ten bucks a piece. But like I said, I bought about six or seven of them in December last year, and not a single one of them has given me any problems. I can't say this about these. I was replacing at least two or three of these a year. They were just burning out. Um, uh, especially the ones in the bathroom that were upside down. So I love my Crees. These are so amazing. I highly recommend you check them out. Um, yes, you're going to say you're going to spend a little bit more money right in the beginning, but I think over the long term, uh, they will definitely save you money. So. I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And please like and subscribe. This is my first, uh, one, of, one of my first few YouTube videos. Um, let me know if you have any feedback, any suggestions. Uh, do you like my hat? Do you think I should not wear my hat? Uh, I mean, anything. Uh, I would really appreciate the feedback. And please like and subscribe. And we'll talk to you again soon.